Yes, Tim, of course. We'll get onto it straight away. Look, I have no idea how this happened. It... Hang on a sec. They got me again. Hi, I'm Sam Tucker from Apple, and today we have to apologize about a very serious flaw in our face unlock. Yeah, it turns out face ID is more like face, uh, close enough. If you haven't heard, it was demonstrated at a security conference that it's actually possible to hack into someone's iPhone if they wear glasses through a sophisticated technology known as two pieces of tape. We believe this method was first discovered by one Ethan Hunt when he ran out of silicone to make a mask. So we just went down to the local Bunnings and used what he could find. Hmm, turns out Lois prices really are just the beginning. Face ID disruptor tape, only $2 today at Bunnings. I hear he did consider using a leather face. However, Clint Eastwood wouldn't lend it to him. Anywho, the reason that this very crude method of just putting some black and white tape on some glasses actually works is because of a glitch in our iPhone's life sensing system that can determine if a face it's looking at is alive or just a mask, except that one time. But we dial that system down a little for nerds because we figure they don't have souls and we just search for their beady little eyes. Hey, all I'm saying is how can the eyes be the window to the soul if you're already wearing a pair of windows right there on your head? It causes some sort of total eternal damnation, a refraction. In any case, this hack is troubling for many reasons. For example, the demonstrators were even able to take the participants money using this technique, which means not only could someone potentially take all the money you have, but because of the new Apple credit card, they could take all the money you don't have as well, plus interest. So rather than putting a sleeping friend's hand in a glass of water to make them pee themselves, you could put them into crippling debt and make them sheet themselves. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, Tim Cook is of course furious about this and, oh no, sorry, he's actually just taking a nap. Gah, they got us again. They've fricking broken a $200 billion company's $1,000 phone security with their $2 shop technology. Let me just say, we are truly sorry for this and it should not be this easy. In fact, we do suspect that there may have been help from the inside. If you have a look, Cruz has suspected that his daughter isn't Siri, which means it has to be Siri. Siri, are you the inside man? No, I am not. A man. Inside. What? The all new face ID. Think near enough's good enough. We'd put a band-aid over the problem, but we fear that would work as well. Subscribe today. Oh, Steve, you're back. Thank goodness this company can innovate again. We've been stuck in the 80s and 90s, making credit cards and Oprah episodes. Hang on a second, who's that? Oh my goodness, she's working with them. I knew there was something fishy about her application. All right, Steve, you go get them. Steve. Hang on a second, if this works. Now I'm Tim. I own Apple. Do as I say. Make the iPads a different size again. Money. Punk it down. Oh no, you have activated your kit eye defense systems. Get down kit eye or I will be forced to pay another $2. Abort. Mission abort.